Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Where I'm at, it is Saturday, um, a little after five on Labor Day weekend. So I've been, I've had a chance today to kind of go through things and get a little bit more organized. And before we get started on the Timu haul, I do have some updates, channel updates. So today I got an email from YouTube asking me to be a partner. So I finally have enough subscribers to begin that journey. So thank you so much. And um, I'd be remiss to not mention, hey, everybody here, because she did send a lot of people my way. So thank you so much. Um, so I've started the process for that. Um, this may be the first video that goes in under that. I'm not sure. I've got to, I've got to make sure I have everything kind of filled out and signed and accepted and all that stuff. But I am hoping to get this posted yet today, hopefully. <laughs> so um, the other piece of information I have is I'm on step four of eight in becoming a Timu influencer. And so that's exciting. I watched Hey Everybody's um, video where she explained how to go in and um, get that process started. So once again, thank you. Um, so this will probably get submitted um, for my step four, I think, um, for that process. So that's exciting. Um, I'm sitting here bouncing. Sorry, that's probably annoying. <laughs> but otherwise, um, I don't think I have any other news at the moment. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I've got, I've got two packages. This one is um, my free gifts from playing fish farmland farmland so um i'm like trying to be cognizant of um which game it is i won these on and by the way um if you um play fishland or farmland my game codes are down below in the description and i guess i should say since i'm trying to submit this to timu i should tell you a little bit about timu right if you um check in the description, you'll see that there is a link to the app if you've never downloaded it, but it's also a website, timu.com, that you can go to, and it is an online marketplace. I compare it to Amazon because there's lots and lots of different sellers, so you can find different sellers selling the same thing, um, but you can find just about anything but food. A food seems to be the only thing I've noticed that you really can't find on Timu. The prices are generally quite a bit lower than a place like Amazon, but you will um, have to wait longer for it to arrive. In general, things get to me within seven to 10 days. And so if you need something right away, Timu may not be your best option unless you choose to do expedited shipping. And I've never done that, so I don't know how that works. But um, if you're able and you know about things in advance and you can plan ahead, then Timu is a great option. Um, I think, well, not I think, I know in this haul I've got a couple things that um, were kind of time sensitive for me. So I ordered them a couple weeks ago and they luckily got here in time. Um, but yeah, so uh, there's, like I said, that my link to the app is down below. And if you've never placed an order, I have a promo code down there and you'll get 50% off your first order. And then I think you get a coupon bundle of maybe a hundred dollars worth of coupons. And then I do get $5 if you use my codes. So I would thank you in advance um, for, um, for doing that. And sorry, I've still got my screens. I'm trying to, I want to get a totally different setup to where I'm facing this way so that it's, the background's not maybe quite as busy as this background is, um, but I didn't get it set up in time for this. Plus I'm waiting on a few more pieces of equipment. Um, and I guess, I guess I did have more notes. See, I wrote all my notes down in my, you know, <laughs> my dry erase Timu board, but you can see I missed some things. So a few weeks ago, I was having problems with my surface and recording and um, it was giving me all kinds of problems and I recorded several things, um, several different videos, but I was having a hard time getting them transferred over to my 
external drives so that I could actually work with them because my surface was saying it had too much, there was too much space or not enough space to do anything. So I've been working through that and I think I've gotten those videos almost ready to post, but I realized because I was going through creating the um, product lists that I put in my also in my link below there's a link to Google Forms that has all of my different um, ever since I started doing this posting the prices of the products and I realized that I've been sitting here on some of these hauls that I have published talking about my Japanese skincare and stuff and you guys haven't even seen that video because it's one of the ones I was having trouble with so I apologize in advance because I do plan to hopefully get those posted in the next week. And so it's going to take you way back in time. I only had like a hundred some subscribers. And so, so I just apologize, but I thank you for bearing with me um, as I try to get all this stuff worked out. Um, I figure I probably should try to be a little bit more professional now that, um, now that I've got more subscribers and more people may care about this, but Okay, now I think that really was all the updates, but if I think of something else, I'll just talk about it while we're opening things. So anyway, I was saying, this is my winnings from finishing a game of Farmland. And usually when you're playing Farmland or Fishland, before you start, they have you pick out two items. And you'll see um, when I give you the prices of these, it's roughly around $30 worth of product. And then you also, when you win those games, you get two coupons. Um, for Farmland, um, you get a $30 off $100 and a $40 off $160. Um, so those are higher percentages off than the normal coupons that we see around. But it does take a while to finish the games. You do get more um, water for Farmland or fish food for Fishland when you place orders. Um, I think it maxes out at two orders per day, though, because I accidentally made three orders one day and I didn't get any extras for the third order. So just something to keep in mind. But, um, and I also realized through goofs I've had in the past that I try to pick, I try to pick things out as my prizes for those games that are things that I would like to have that I probably wouldn't buy, but would be really cool to have, um, and that I won't be tempted to buy before I win the game, forcing me to have two. <laughs> so more stuff to keep in mind. All right, like making sure I'm not showing my address. All right, so there's two things in here, a crumpled box, which you'll see. Okay, so I should just show this. So this is a solar garden um, like waterproof light, not waterproof, but like, oh, well, starburst light. And I think that this one is multicolor. Yes, multicolor. It's, oh, I was gonna say it's in lots of pieces, but it's because it's got a stand. But hopefully the lights themselves are not broken or I don't break it when I'm getting it out of the box. Okay, let me set this down for a second. Okay, so it's solar and oh, the pieces are going everywhere. Um, so it gives you, here's the stake, which is super tiny. I don't know how, how well this is going to stay in the ground, but there's the stake. And then you've got all these extra pieces that you put together to make the stand. You connect it to this. Um, I'll just put, so then during the day, this is collecting the solar and there is a plastic um, cover on this that you peel off. And this is kind of weird, but I'll, I'll have to obviously, <laughs> I'll have to um, make this look better so it looks more like a waterfall kind of starburst kind of thing. But you can see it's all these light up and then because of whatever kind of wire this is, it just, these, this part's reflective. And so, yeah, so I'm trying to, I don't really have 
flowers in my yard because I do not like bugs. I don't like having to be out when it's hot, but I wouldn't mind if our yard looked a little nicer. Um, we've got an area in front of our bedroom windows that used to have a lot of ivy in it and we had someone help us get rid of all that last year and so now it's just got mulch. So I'm kind of thinking as you start seeing me buying things for the yard, that's kind of where I'm expecting I'm going to start putting that kind of stuff. So this will be one of those things, you know, just to add a little color. Um, and it this isn't, this is not as pretty of a picture as it is online because I can't imagine I'm going to be able to get these things to stand up like that. The picture online, it's, it, it's more of a, you like over, you know, flowing. I don't know. I don't know how to word that, but anyway, this was free, but if you wanted to purchase it, it's 548 right now. All right. And I did bring a trash bag down here. Oh, there's no instructions for this. Um, Oh, I probably should keep this box though, since it has parts I still need to put together. Ugh. This is not a very good box, but maybe I can close this side. Okay. We'll put all this stuff back in. Okay. Just set that there. All right. So then the next thing that was free, I've been looking at these on Amazon. Um, and they're not cheap and there's nothing on here to show you what it is. So let me, let me see where to open it. But this is a Ziploc bag organizer. It's wooden. So it holds four different sizes of Ziploc bags. And I think this, the top slides off when you need to refill it. And each of the spaces is going to be labeled. All right. So, um, oh, well, okay. They're not labeled, but maybe there's, yeah, there's labels in there. So let me, before I undo this. You can see you could hang it from the wall or you could put it in a drawer um, or on a counter, you know, whatever works best for you. It feels pretty sturdy. I was afraid it was going to feel like that breakaway wood that um, feels like you could just snap it in half. I'm trying to reduce how much I talk when I'm dealing with plastic. All right, so this comes with labels. So three three sets of them. Um, so I don't know, maybe if you get tired of having them go, going one direction and you take them off, you can put them on going the other direction. Um, it has a very strong odor that you can't miss when you take it out, but it's kind of like a I kind of like the odor you'd get after you finished some wood, but yeah, it's got a shiny, it's, it's been sealed with something. And then, um, like I said, this, this slides off, but it's very tight. So I would be careful, but you can see, then you can fill in the three different sizes. These three over here are all the same size, even though the bags would not be the same size. But, um, but yeah, so right now I've got like Dollar Tree bins that I have labeled with the different sizes and it works okay. But, um, I just thought it'd be nice to have something like this and because it was free, um, even better. But if you did want to purchase this right now, it's twenty four forty eight. I don't want to break it. I make so on this channel. I'm always afraid I'm going to break things, and I do sometimes break things. But I'm usually just being overly cautious because, well, that would be embarrassing probably for me if I did break something on here. But 
also sometimes you know when you're first unboxing things you don't know always how it works or how things go together so it's easy to make an accident that maybe you wouldn't make if you weren't recording yourself to the world all right so anyway you can see that um since one of those was 548 and one was 2448 it's about 30 dollars worth of free stuff and no i have not figured out how much i actually spend on the game or you know on orders to figure out how much i actually spent to get that 30 dollars free we're not going to talk about that because it's it's a fun game and we're just going to keep playing it and that's the way that is all right so next, this is also for the yard. And a lot of these things are for the yard because um, you're going to see a couple of the things that I got are specifically for Labor Day. So that's why I wanted to make sure to get these things. Um, and actually, let's wait till I show you the other part for that goes with that. Okay, so this, we've seen this on my channel before, but this is a traveling jewelry box. And you can see it's a pretty Tiffany blue and this is a Christmas present and the kid that this is going to is down here I can probably hear all of this but that's okay so um, it's super this color is super pretty but then you can see oh, it's got um, hang on while I fix that this just, these are, it's just like felt coated cardboard. Okay. There we go. Sometimes it's also hard to do things when you're looking in a camera instead of looking right at the thing. But anyway, it's got a spot for rings and then this spot would be for earrings most likely. Then you can put a few um, necklaces in there and then put them in here so they're not just flying all around but this is a great size for travel if you're going to be gone for a week this should be plenty of enough unless you wear lots and lots of jewelry and then you just buy more of these right or a bigger one but anyway these come in all different colors and this one was 327 so my kids my family did you know finally find my channel I think one of my kids might watch some of these, but they don't all watch. So if, if, if this particular kid weren't downstairs, this would still be a surprise. Okay. So this next thing is for my parents. Um, their anniversary is on Monday. And so this is another thing I had to plan ahead, but it's a pop-up card. So we had gotten a pop-up card for my husband for Father's Day and it, it was nice, you know. Um, and I figure when you go into the grocery stores or Walgreens or wherever, most of those cards are so expensive. I mean, they're like five or six bucks. And um, this one was five thirty nine, and I got 10 cents back. Um, now, I will say that obviously with the way Timu ships, um, this is the envelope. So you can see it's a little bit, you know, creased and... Um, and whatnot, but this that doesn't matter too much. I mean, it's the envelope. I was trying to see if I could get a better view of the creases and stuff, but you can kind of see them there. Okay, I gotta be careful where I put that though so it doesn't get dirty. Okay, so then this is the card, and you would have it flat in the envelope, obviously. Um, and it, so it comes with this um, thing to keep it corralled. And then this is where you'd write your message. And then these sides all fold down. It's like I'm trying to, I'm trying to like pop it, but I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. 
before I even get a chance to give it away. But you can see it just it unfolds and once the recipient gets the card then obviously they can um, <laughs> they can fold these parts down and stuff and get it to stand up better. But um uh, yeah, it's a little hard to just sit and hold when it's brand new. But I thought this was pretty. I mean, a lot of times, and I make cards, but a lot of times people, what are people going to do with cards? And I say this as somebody who makes cards, but most people, they display them for a little while and then they probably throw them away. I mean, they don't mean any disrespect or anything, but um, I thought this might be you know, cute to sit around and maybe this would last longer before it hit the trash can. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought that was cute. Um, their anniversary very often falls on Labor Day somehow, which is weird because um, Labor Day fluctuates. I mean, it's always the first Monday here in the States, obviously, but, but yeah, okay. Oh, I should post for my thumbnail. Uh, I've started taking pictures. Like after I finish filming this, I'll take a couple pictures holding up some of this stuff. And I've, I'm trying to, cause I never get good thumbnails no matter how hard I try. So, um, so yeah, so that might help, but I'll also point out here. So this hangs out over the edge. So this part is a little bent and, um, a little damaged but I think they'll still like that. Huh. All right, so this hat, I was influenced to buy this hat by Hey Everybody. So she made a comment, I finally have caught up with all of her videos, she made the comment that she was um, heading in for a $300 um, Timu allowance. And I'm like, she's worth it because she influences me to buy a lot of things. Okay, so it's got um, plastic in here to help hold its shape. I've talked on here many times about how I love black and light pink. So obviously when I saw this on hers, I was like, oh, that'd be perfect. But it's, it's super pretty, and it's got the Japanese um, cherry blossoms on it. And it's a really black, like there's no fading in that at all, at least not yet. And the bill, is this called a bill, <laughs> bill rim, whatever, is already, you know, partially, it's not flat. Like I hate getting the ones that are super flat because that just doesn't look good on me. And then it's, it's completely canvas or whatever material this is um, and then it's it's adjustable and I've said on here before I have to have it at the fullest size to fit my head but yeah I really like this okay and then this cost 328 and I got 39 cents back on that and so if you're not aware with Timu um, the first 30 days after you make your purchase, you can go back into the order on the app. You can do this multiple times a day, once a day, once a week, however often you want to. And you can look to see if you can request an adjustment. So anytime the price goes down on your items, they will give you the opportunity to request that back. And you can request it back to your original payment source. Or if you're like me, you can request it back to your Timu credit to use for a future purchase. Um, so I check my all my orders at least once a day and um, and again you can do that for the first 30 days <laughs> all right well this next one was also influenced by hey everybody now I promise I don't just go out and buy everything that she shows but she has great taste so I I do get a lot of it So this she's shown on there multiple times. This is an oil control pressed powder. And I do not have, I literally washed my face with my Japanese skincare that you know nothing about yet. And um, 
I finished it off with the moisturizer that comes with it. So I thought I would be able to then put a little bit of this on because I already can see I've got some shiny areas. Um, but it comes with a really nice sponge. It says I'm a pineapple. And then, you know, it's got nice packaging. And so a nice, pretty case mirror. <laughs> I love showing pictures like that. I should get, maybe, maybe I can make this one of my pictures. I digress. So it's a, uh, it's, oh, looky, there I am again. <laughs> so, um, obviously this is the powder. I want to, okay. So it's kind of, um, like feeling it with my finger. It's, oh, that's weird. So it feels, um, super sticky, like not like any other powder I've ever tried. Um, and you can kind of, yeah, you can kind of see where it's kind of sticky, but then when I feel it on my finger, it's like, I mean, in the very first second when you're doing this, you can still feel it, but it's like so smooth and dry. So let's give this a try. So I have a little bit on there. Oh yeah, so you can see the shine goes away. My nose looks super shiny, so let's try that. Shine is gone. Oh, I don't think there's any hope for my the rest of my head. Oh. But yeah, I like that. I'm always, so on a previous haul, which I'm pretty sure I did publish already, I had a powder, uh, like a normal kind of powder that was skin tone or my, well, my, this kind of tone, because my face, they don't make pink like this. <laughs> but um, I put it on and it always, stuff like that always feels, makes me feel like I look chalky, but this really just literally just took the shine away. It's not adding any color or anything, so... Yeah, so this is great and it's, you know, will fit into my purse nicely. So now the question is, do I need to get more of these to go in all my purses? I've kind of set up two, um, I took two old Ipsy bags that I'm using to put the stuff that I always want to have with me and then I can just take it out because the purse bag sorter thing I got is too big for any of my bags. But yeah, so I've got two of those set up. Um, so maybe I need to get a second one of these. But yeah, I really like that. And that cost $4.04 and no discounts on it because it's probably pretty popular. All right, next. Um, I have this Timu Pandora dupe charm bracelet thing and I've never had one of these before and I was going to wear it for this but it is super hard for me to get it on and off by myself. Actually I can get it off just fine, um, get the bracelet off just fine <laughs> with um, myself but but yeah so um, I can't put it on by myself. So anyway I'm going down a rabbit hole there. So this I am a tea junkie and so I just got this pretty little teapot and cup and um, so I may have a little bit of ADHD kind of thing going on because they say if you hop around to lots of things that you might be um, and I went through a huge tea phase where I was buying loose leaf tea from Sips by David's tea is my favorite, but then after COVID, they had to close all of their um, American stores, so you can only buy it online now. But I had tea, tons and tons of tea, and out of the probably 200 things of tea, there were probably 10 that I really liked. Harney and Sons was another one. They have their um, 
Hot Sunset, I think. It, I love that, that one. And there's a few from David's Tea that I really like. And then a few that I've gotten from Sips By that are just kind of random. There's a cherry almond one that, or no, it's probably cherry vanilla that I really like too. So yeah, so I haven't, <laughs> I've just been buying these individually. So I, I suppose I'm probably supposed to be getting spacers or something, but I haven't done that yet. But um, I've got some more charms coming. So I don't know, do you guys put spacers in here or do you just fill it up with special charms? So yeah, so I, I really liked that. That was $2.97 and I got 13 cents back. All right. Next. Okay, this one's a little bit scary for me because um, it's a jumpsuit and I have never been the right shape to fit in a jumpsuit or overalls or anything like that. But the Manjaro that I'm on that's helping my diabetes and is causing me to lose weight has kind of changed my shape a little bit. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe I'll get lucky and this jumpsuit will fit. And I'm realizing that I really wish that I had a picture of this up on my phone. So let me see if I can find that real quick because it looks super pretty on the model. Um, but it's black and white, which if you know or if you're familiar with my channel, I love black and white. Okay, there it is. And it because it's going to be so long, it's going to be hard for me to show it to you well on here so that's why i want to show you the picture too okay so this is how it looks so you can see it's got like a um skirt but it's like only on half the side it's only on this one side and then the back you get the full effect of the design on the back and then it was just plain, the pants, I mean, it's got black pants on both sides and it looks like it's got a belt. All right, so let's just see how it actually looks. So this is the kind of polyester that's obviously polyester. So this, this is the belt. So if you're familiar with these, you just thread the, the belt through here. So it's obviously adjustable, which is nice. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the top. Okay, so because this is polyester-y, um, it's not as bad as swimming suit and it'll be better after it's washed, but um, it's cold because of that, which may be a good thing. All right, so here's the top. And then you can see that skirt or whatever you call it is only going around the one side, but it is separate. I mean, it's, well, as much as it can be. But then you've got the black pants. And I want to see if there's pockets. I'm finding a lot of the black um, capris and pants that I've been getting don't have pockets. And that's frustrating me a little bit. It creates a better line on your hips, but I guess that's why I'm buying purses, right? <laughs> so you just don't need pockets. Okay, so there are no pockets, um, and no pockets in the back. So pretty plain pants, but it's very wide, very wide leg. So, and it flares just a little bit. So the other um, concern I have with this is I'm only 5'5", five five and a lot of times um, 
designers assume that if you're, this is a 2X, which is a 16 in American. A lot of times they assume the larger the size you need, you must be taller. And that is not always the case. Um, so yeah, so I'll have to see. This won't be good if it ends up, you know, if my feet come to here and it's got all of this because I, I don't sew. And um, this would be weird to cut. So I guess, I don't know. And I don't really wear heels, which some people avoid that problem by wearing heels. But anyway, it's really pretty, I think. Um, so this jumpsuit was $19.54 and I got 90 cents back. All right. Now to go with all of these black and white dressy things, because I've now gotten that, I've gotten a black and white striped dress that's got horizontal stripes and then vertical stripes. And then I've gotten another kind of, I don't think it's like black and white leopard. I think it's more just random slashes of white on the black. But I got these shoes to go with all of those. Sorry, my computer in the background keeps going off. So these are sandals. Why I keep buying sandals now that we're getting into fall? Well, we're not in fall yet, but um, soon. But yeah, I saw these and this is a little rough. I'm not going to lie. I mean, they literally just cut. It does. I mean, it's probably man-made leather, but um, it doesn't look too bad. And it's not... Um, like it's a matte kind of finish to it but black and white so I thought that you know would match and then these I get all my sandals in um, seven and a half which usually I think that's a 39 but this says 245 so oh no but it's got a nice um, a nice sole with some interesting like this looks like a leaf up here. Um, it does, it is a little squishy, but not too much. So if you're familiar with wearing slides, this is, this feels a lot like a slide. But yeah, I thought this would go great. So this, these were $13.77 and I got 67 cents back. All right, so this is why, happy Labor Day. So, um, shoot, and I meant to look up the name of their channel before I did this one. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick because this was influenced as well. Not this specific flag, but the idea. Oh, hang on. Okay, I have this, this light from Costco and it just randomly starts playing Christmas songs. I'm sure it's because there's an alarm set, but I never set an alarm on it. So I don't know, I, I haven't taken the time to figure that out. So sorry about that. Okay, let me see if I can find this channel real quick since I'm subscribed to it so I can say it right. And I'll link it below. Any channel that I mention on here or get influenced by, I'm gonna start making sure I have their links in my description below. Um, Okay, why is this going so slow? Okay. All right. They are called Double T's Treasures. And it's a husband and wife. Well, the ones that I've watched have been the husband and wife, but I think the wife also does some by herself. Um, and it's kind of fun to watch their channel because you get both perspectives like usually they both have their own bags and then they take turns going through the bag um and so it's it's fun to watch um so yes yeah, so i'll be sure to link them below but she is very um how how do i say it she always it sounds like decorates the outside of her house for every holiday so she gets you know the she gets the flags that go on the little flag stand she gets the 
banners that like go over the windows and the things that go on the columns or posts and then she decorates her mailbox um, and it always looks super cute at least the ones that I've seen but she said that their flags on Timu are, are always very good quality so I decided I would check that out and see if I agree how do I open this But they are canvas, um, and I, I, I did make the mistake. I ordered several of these before I. You should probably always, unless you have a time crunch, should always buy one before you buy several. Because I have gotten, um, had unfortunate um, results, not buying one first. But I thought this one was super cute. They had several different Labor Day ones, and we have cats, so I wanted to get the cat one. But they had some that were. Um, more just like flags and um, kind of end of summer kind of designs but yeah and it's got it on both sides so you put the you put this through the thing that I'm going to sh probably show you next because I had to get a flag holder um, thing because I don't have one but yeah so this is super cute so some people would probably have this out all weekend, but I probably will just have it out on Monday because um, I'm kind of anal like that. <laughs> but this was three fourteen. dollars They have these, they have, and you'll see more on this channel later, but they have birthdays, all of the holidays, tons of fall, summer, you know, all the different seasons. Um, but yeah, I agree. This does seem like a, I mean, I don't, we'll have to see how it does in the rain and stuff, but it seems like a really good, strong material. I don't know how strong you need it to be for a flag, but all right. So to put that on, I need a stand. So I bought a stand. Um, this is in a sturdy plastic. There's staples on here, so I'm trying to make sure I don't scratch myself. And this is metal. This is like a, um, hang on, let me get this out first. Okay, so it's, I was going to say it's matte, but it's, it's got a little bit of shine to it, but it's a painted steel. So anyway, this part would go in the ground to keep it sturdy, and then you'd screw this part on next, and then you'd have um, this, then it would go like this, so you'd wrap your flag through here, hang it, um, and then I think well, some of them, some of these things, which I wish I'd have been paying more attention or knew more about this when I was buying this, some of them also have a longer thing on this side so that you can hang like a lantern or something on it, but I didn't get that one. Um, and then this one also came with um, something to put a little bit farther down on the flag so it won't just fly around. Um, so you would wrap this around the stand and then you'd clip it you would clip this to the side of your flag and then it won't it should stay pretty um, straight so people can actually read it which is the whole point of having the sign right so um, this so obviously I got to go put this together and get it put out in the yard before Monday but that stand was 557 oh so then that can bring me back to this item now so because I want people people to be able to see the sign at night I bought this little solar light um, which will hopefully I can get it um, facing the right angle to put light on the on the sign or on whatever flag I have up there so 
It comes with screws and whatnot. Not really sure why. It's got the steak. So this is a much longer steak, which is better than the other steak I was showing you. And then you just attach the steak to this. And so you can angle it, you know, however high you need it to go. And then it collects the solar during the day. And you can see this has a film over it that you'd take off. But then it's got um, a lot of light. And I'm trying to think some, so there's a, the, oh, um, let's just shine it at me to see if we can see. That's probably not the best place to shine. Let's look at my chin. Okay, so it's either on or off. So I'm guessing you would have it on all the time and it would just stay powered um, by the sun. But I, I guess if you didn't want to do that, you wouldn't. Um, but I was going to say several of these lights. What was that? That's weird. I thought it came back on for a minute, so then I was wondering if it had different settings. Several of these lights you can get in either a white light or a warm light, and I have no idea what I got here, but it looked pretty white white or bright white. So that yard light was $8.77. All right, we're almost done. So let me get the last few things out of here. All right, so three more things and then we're done. So I got another um, t-shirt folder. Um, this one's supposed to be more, adv more advanced than the other one. And you may have seen, I've got, I got one of these not that long ago, um, but it turned out to be a kid's one because I wasn't paying attention and reading the directions so now, or the, the description. So now I'm making sure that um, I have uh, it specifically says adult and I've been buying or I bought this one on a lightning deal because they're kind of expensive, like between 11 and $13 normally. So, um, this one, oh, maybe I didn't buy this one on a lightning deal. Cause I said, it says I paid 10 17, but, um, if you get one of those text messages that takes you to the go around the box to find out what your discount is going to be. Mine always lands on 45%, which they up to 90%. And so this would be a perfect thing that I would get on that because then it would take it down to three or four bucks. But anyway, um, it's got this and then it's got instructions on how to fold different types of clothing on here on the back. And then this would be the good kind of thing to demonstrate, right? Um, but I don't have anything down here to demonstrate. So this one looks like it's assembly required. My other ones have not been like that. Maybe that's fifth generation. Put it together yourself. So this is not going to be as easy to show as I was hoping. If any of you watched Big Bang Theory, Sheldon always used one of these to fold up his shirts. But... Um, basically you stick your shirt kind of in the center and then you fold over the arms and then you fold over the bottom and then it's a nice t-shirt shape but this one I apparently have to put together so I'm not going to be able to show what it looks like but you can kind of see on this picture down here and this isn't really a new um, really a new kind of product so you're probably familiar with it anyway but it was a pretty pink color I'm trying to get one of these for each of us in different colors and I'm probably going to take this one because it's one of my favorite colors and then this oh yeah I said it was 1017 all right so second to last I bought some collagen So this is a hand cream. And so 
my skin is very, um, I don't, you know, and it, it doesn't go back down right away. So it needs some help. <laughs> so I remember when I was a kid, I used to sit in church next to my dad and I would do this to his hand and it would do that. And I was like, man, mine doesn't do that. Well, now I'm there. So anyway, um, this is a hand cream, 10 times collagen content, active protein technology, replenishes skin collagen, moisturized tender hands, soft, easy to absorb, soothing smooth. Okay, and anti-aging, of course. Um, <laughs> how to use. Need instructions on how to use the hand cream. So let's just see if I can... Okay, so it did come wrapped, but then there's nothing on the inside. So let's just put a little on. Whoa! Okay. Okay, so the tip is like an icing tip. And don't squirt very hard, because that's a lot. A lot at once. All right. Well, let's just see. I guess I'm going to put this on both hands now. All right, so it's kind of... Um, it's kind of a wet lotion. It doesn't have a distinctive scent to it. I mean, it smells like lotion, but it doesn't smell like flowers or fruit or anything. So I guess that little squirt just probably was the right amount for both hands. So I do not know how long it would take to see the effects of this. Let's see if it says on the back of the container. Light and moist texture. If you feel uncomfortable, please stop using it. So yeah, so I don't know, maybe the website would have said, um, more information like how long it would take to see the effects okay so now I'm in the sticky phase I hate when lotions make you feel sticky because how long is it going to take for that to stop feeling sticky I mean granted I don't like my hands to feel super dry after I've put lotion on but I do not like sticky and this is sticky so we'll see we have one more product to do so we'll see if it's still sticky after that but that collagen was a dollar thirty four all right, so my last thing is another coin. I've been collecting coins from Timu, and I've pretty much decided that all the coins that they sell are not the size that they were originally, you know, for the original coins. They've all seemed bigger. So this one is a Virginia coin. So I saw this and I'm like, is that for real? Were there really coins for each state? And maybe there were because, you know, before they united, so this is a Martha Washington and 1759. And then the back, I think has Mount Vernon. What does it say? Home of the Washington family. Yep. So sorry, I'm shaking. I know. Um, I was also going to tell you guys, so I downloaded a coin app. Let me go to it. It's called Coin Snap, and it helps you identify coins. And I, um, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to start a free trial. Yeah, just cancel. So where is my collection? Okay, so on an earlier haul... I had gotten this coin and I was able to scan it. And if this were in perfect condition and real, $4,500. <laughs> so I thought it was just kind of neat to see, for one, if this had been a real design. I mean, I'm assuming these are all replicas of existing or real, real ones, but you never know. So I thought I would scan this while we were here together. So let me go. And again, this is called Coin Snap. So here I am stumping for Coin Snap now. So I'm going to hit the take a picture and then you've got to like hold it in into that circle. 
Oh, but I need to, you have to actually click it to take the picture, so hold on. And then may have you take the back side. And then it scans it. Oh, interesting. So <laughs> it tells you, so this was a um, centen bicentennial anniversary coin. So let's just say this was in mint state because who cares if, it, if it's not mint. You want to know like the max you could get for this, right? If it were real. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> 262 to 4, 495. So it's nice to know that was an actual coin. And I, now it makes me wonder were there, you know, for the bicentennial, did they do a coin for each of the original 13 states? Um, so yeah, so the, this cost me $1.70. So I still like it, even if it's not, even if a real one wouldn't be worth very much. But it is super interesting to know that it was um, bicentennial because this says 1759. So maybe I'm not a, I'm not a history buff. Is that when Virginia joined? So anyway, or became a state. All right. So that um, is the end of our Timu Hall. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all those things. I do have one question for those of you out there that are nail buffs, um, like fingernail buffs. So I we know I've bought a ton of um, fake nails. And another thing that Hey Everybody influenced me on was getting um, Kiss Powerflex nail glue, which is coming in my Walmart order tonight, my Walmart grocery pickup tonight. But I have this one nail that's cracked, like down here. And you, if you don't care about nails, then you can just go ahead and take off. And thank you for watching. But um, it's cracked right here, which is like below the line. So I don't want to just cut it, but it's starting to catch on things. So should I be like putting a fake nail on this or a nail sticker or just some glue? I, I used to try when I was a kid putting glue on things like that, but I could never get it like sanded out to where it felt weird or where it didn't feel weird. I mean, so what would you do with, with this? Cause it's starting to catch, like when I shower, um, my hair catches in it, but I just don't want to cut it off cause it's too low. So what would you guys do? I need some advice, but anyway, <laughs> that was it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support you've given to my channel. Um, without you guys, I wouldn't, have been asked to partner with YouTube and um, begin that monetization um, cycle, which will help me get additional content for this channel. Because um, I don't know what I was thinking when I named my channel Hauler Time, because it kind of locked me into doing hauls. And I'd like to do other things. Um, I don't know if anybody would watch other things, but I do have other interests. Um, so I don't know. I need to I need to be able to add some additional content to this channel that's not hauls because that isn't really very sustainable over the long haul. So, um, so let me know, would, would you watch things that weren't hauls? Um, I mean, would you watch crafting? I know there's plenty of crafting things out there or diamond painting. I, I've got tons of stuff for that, but, um, yeah, let me know. I'm kind of feeling stuck because at some point I'm afraid the Timu train is going to run dry, but um, it's not yet. I've got enough content still for, I think, the month of September. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But thank you um, for taking this ride with me. I appreciate all of you. And don't forget to check the description below for your link to the Timu app and my Timu code and my Fishland and Farmland game codes. And some days I will post a code in the community for that five free gifts game because I thought if I were ever able to get enough points on that where I would 
actually win the prizes. I could use the, or I would use those as giveaways for my channel. But so far on the few days that I've posted that to the community page, I haven't gotten enough um, people to key in that code in the search bar to actually win the prizes for that day. So I don't know, I'll probably try it a couple more times just to see. But, um, and if I do ever win that, like I said, those will be um, channel channel giveaways. But otherwise, I'll, I'll try to stop talking now. <laughs> so have a great evening or whatever it is for you. And I hope to post again on Labor Day. Um, and I'm really trying to get to Ikea. We have an Ikea in town and I've never been. And I thought it might be kind of fun to do an Ikea haul, but I don't know what kind of money something like that would take. So until then, it's all Timu all the time. Talk to you later. Bye.